Hi, I'm Eleanor Murphy, and I am the principal investigator on an NIH-funded study of the familial, genetic, and environmental influences on major depression in African Americans. Now, major depression is a serious public health burden and is projected by the year 2020 to be the second largest cause of mortality and disability. With respect to African Americans, the health disparity for depression is paradoxical. Epidemiological studies have shown that African Americans tend to have lower rates of depression than whites. And this is due to factors that are unknown, be it genetic, cultural, or social, or a combination of both. We do not know. But what we do know is that African Americans who are depressed have more symptom severity, more symptoms, a longer duration of depressive episodes, and more psychiatric and physical comorbidity than whites who are depressed. And African Americans are also less likely to seek treatment. And when they do seek treatment, they tend to do less well on antidepressant trials. So over the years, we've seen cutting edge technologies in the fields of clinical neuroscience and psychiatry, for example, We've seen studies rely on brain imaging, next generation sequencing, and now there's a movement towards personalized or precision medicine. But the persistent and nagging question that arises is to what extent can we generalize the findings from these studies to members of racially diverse groups? So in keeping with our goal of increasing representation of African Americans in genetic studies, one of the project features is a family study. To our knowledge, there have been no family studies of major depression done in this population, so this would be the first of its kind. This study would enable us to begin to understand the patterns of familiar transmission of depression among African Americans. It can also provide clues as to which symptom clusters or subtypes of depression might be more suitable for further investigation in twin and molecular genetic studies. We can then compare the findings from this study to that of earlier family studies which were conducted mainly with white populations. The second component entails utilizing an existing resource, the Genetic Epidemiology Research in Adult Health and Aging cohort. And this contains clinical and genetic data for members of racially diverse groups. We plan to use GWAS polygenic risk estimation for the phenotype of major depression. Over the years, I've had several collaborations with experts in the fields of genetic epidemiology and psychiatry, and the one consistent theme that has emerged was the lack of suitable resources and the underrepresentation and difficulty in recruiting African Americans in family and genetic studies of psychiatric disorders. I hope to have an opportunity to develop an online resource that would be specifically targeted towards identifying data resources such as twin registries or population-based cohort studies with family and genetic data from racially diverse groups. And that would enable researchers to leverage information without having to duplicate or to rely on data sources that are unsuitable for the kinds of questions that they want to ask.